Sounds great. We're going to hear a lot of that today, try and share a little bit with you guys. Welcome to our Sunday Coffee with Conti. Take two from the top. Either my ears just broke or the camera broke. Wow. Okay, so... Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. We're filming this Sunday at the Corvettes at Corsa show. It's always the last Sunday in July. So we filmed like three intros to get started today. So we're actually started now. Welcome to our Sunday Coffee with Conti. No coffee here. I had enough from Columbus on the way up here. And then when we got here, I've got my table here. We were giving out some posters. We've got the Z06 poster there, and then an updated poster of my car, and so many awesome people coming up, greeting us, asking a quick question. Two hours later, I'm like, guys, I gotta take a pee. <laughs> it's, it's a long drive, and I did have a lot of coffee. So what I wanted to do with you guys, I wanted to actually do a live stream. And every time I try to do that, doing a live stream allows me that real time and doesn't put something in the can and have to worry about when I'm gonna get it back up on the channel. Channel. So uh, right now I just want to walk around and share this show with you guys in the manner in which I would have done a live stream. That's kind of cool for a Sunday, right? You guys like, like looking at cool cars? You go to cruisings in your area? So we just kind of bounce back and forth. I mean, we could, we really could spend an exorbitant amount of time in some of these just amazing cars. But I just want you to have an appreciation for the people around here showing off their cars, enjoying the Corvette culture. This is about the car, but it's really truly about you guys, the cool people that own them. I don't understand that people come here early and then they leave early. I mean, it's really kind of just getting started. Where are you going? <laughs> So let's actually go out to the front here. We'll start here and walk you through it. So this will be one of our longer uploads, but I think it'll be a more enjoyable upload because you'll have an opportunity to really see just an incredible different array of Corvettes. I mean, here's an example. There's a C5, bunch of C8s. Look at this bad boy right here. Oh man, I love that. Coming up soon on the channel, somebody asked me, a lot of times you guys ask me this question and I thought it would be a good topic and a good subject to share on the channel. They said, Rick, if you could buy just one Corvette, any Corvette right now, what would you buy? You might be shocked by my answer, but there's some thought process behind it. That's coming up soon on the channel. All kinds of fun stuff, real stuff. Thank you for taking the time to share it with us. Okay, so when you first come in here, Coughlin Chevrolet sponsors Corvette Cleveland, the first and only dealer ever to sponsor this club. One of the longest historic clubs in the country is Corvette Cleveland. Elaine, I miss you, wish you were here today. She was such a big part of this, but I'm glad to see it growing and growing and growing. And oh my gosh, over there real quick, you guys, I don't have a zoom on the GoPro. There's a rep, did you see there's a, <laughs> he's laughing. There's a rapid blue C5 over there. Okay, so we'll go check that out in a minute. Kind of a nice display over here for the folks greeting you as you come in. We're at Corsa Performance. This is where they make the aftermarket exhaust for so many Corvettes over the years, including the C8. Oh my gosh, look at this thing here. I mean, this is, uh, wow. Rear diffuser, got some wild and crazy going on here. I AWE. Actually, I like to, uh, ooh, look at these wheels now, guys. And he pulled in the silver accents from his wheels up onto the body blade, down on the ground effects in the front. He's got it on the uh, fender hash marks. Yeah, that's pretty neat right there. Okay, so we've got a lot to show you. Let's kind of walk you in this way here. Like I said, just kind of walking around like I would have done with the live stream right here. Oh, is that your yellow car? Yes, I want to tell you thank you. I didn't get my car from you, but you kept me sane for the whole year. Yeah. I watch you every night, every Thanks, plant man. closing, everything that went on. I knew more than myself. <laughs> and I already know, man, I even emailed you. I really appreciate you. No, I appreciate you taking the time to you say that. You kept me sane, man. I was just showing off your car. Beautiful car. Thank you, yeah. thank you. All right. Good, thing. Good to have you on Coffee with Conti. Right. I appreciate that. My man. I'm dedicated, man. Every night I'm there. Thank you, man. Appreciate right. that. 
I gotta, st I gotta stop selling cars and actually do more videos. I just got so much marketing and so much stuff to share with you guys. It's hard to take time to sell cars. I got two full-time jobs. Thanks again for the support. All right, so here we go. Beautiful 50th anniversary car. Aftermarket wheels on there. We were talking about that, so. <laughs> here he's got, I was just talking about this. He's got the C5 with the C7 Z06 wheels. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just fun and we understand why. Um, all right, let's go through here. Share some stuff with you guys. Oh yeah, that's great. All right. Oh, that's great. Hey, look, can you pop up a little bit? This is also about creating memories, sharing memories. Absolutely. Buddy guys, been saying some good things about the channel, about myself, about my son. Thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. So we'll continue on this way here. Oh yeah, Centennial Z06. Yep, yeah, 2012. It's taken 10 years to bring this color back. It is back on the 70th anniversary car for 2023. See that, the black metallic looks hot, doesn't it? Yeah, damn right it does. Hey, Rick. What's happening, guys? Hey, Good Rick. to see you. Watch out for this getting hit the sign. It's gonna be the train when you give me one of those other cars. Yeah, good to see you, man. Thanks for the support. He was actually at my send-off pad for my car. Fast USA. This is a lot of fun. You guys smell that? Oh, figures. I'm like, there's some some french fries right here, and here's a long ass line for the french fries. Okay, we'll be back for those. How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. I watch all the time. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, and these have got to be, these have got to be the best trophies in the planet. You guys, some of you guys live for the trophies. The only trophy I ever really wanted was one of these. And God bless Elaine, she helped me get one acknowledged a few years ago. It's part of a Corsa exhaust. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, they got some black tip ones now, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at these guys. There's a Mac Daddy one right here. All right, so let's, uh, let's share some more cars as if we were in live stream mode. And it's funny, a lot of folks, <laughs> I was just going to say, I've been coming to the show for a long time, and a lot of folks that come here frequently seem to always park in the same spot. Like Don and his 90, 98 pace car. I want to buy that car so bad. So this is fun. This is more relaxing for me, knowing that we're going to have a longer upload and we're going to have time to just kind of talk and share all of these great looking cars on just an absolutely beautiful day in Berea, Ohio, brought to you by Corvette Cleveland and Coughlin Chevrolet. It is the annual Corvettes at Corsa show. Yeah, look at this stuff. Oh, man. Now, we were just talking about cars and adding other wheels. So here you got a Z06 with ZR1 style wheels. Looks good. Looks really good. Oh, I like how he did this. Look how this is neat. I'm such a big kid. That is really cool. That is really cool. I like that. And you coupe guys would always add that waterfall because you didn't have a convertible. Nice job. Beautiful car. Okay, a lot to see, a lot to see. I see I can stop and look at these all day long. <sighs> I've been looking online trying to buy one of those. I don't need to do that right now. I've just been wanting one. I've missed many opportunities to get one. Keep screwing up. Just pull the trigger. So they wrap all the way around the back side of the assembly plant where they make manufacture the Corsa exhausts here. I don't think, now's not the time to talk about it, I'm just gonna tell you because some of the future stuff coming on the channel about my car and my intention of marketing that car and sharing it with you guys on the channel, I don't think I'm putting any exhaust on my car. We'll talk about that soon. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is one I sold to Chris. Referred from my friend Steve. And he's done a lot of stuff to this car. Wow, looks good, man. Looks really good. But I 
this is fun for me to share this with you guys there's so many different shows that I haven't had an opportunity to get to I need to do because we need to do more of this and share it with you it gives you guys ideas with your car look at these wheels man I think we saw these wheels if you were able to see it in the live stream at the Roscoe Village show in Coshocton this Zeus bronze with those those are great great looking wheels I'm Steve Rattuno's mom oh are you I oh Oh, nice to meet you. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. All right. Oh. Ryan just said, hey, Dad, there's another one over there. There's another. 90, usually there's only one. There's another 98 pace car here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. See, it's tough to get him up early in the morning. But he knew we were coming here. He knew there was going to be a great selection of cars. Ryan loves looking at these cars, so I'm so glad that he came here. Oh, look at this Cyber Gray ZR1. Man, that's a hell of a car. Not sure if he's announced it yet or not, but I actually went on Street Speed and InShane Designs website. I bought a couple of items. I'm entered in the contest hoping that I can win a C6 ZR1, the one that is uh, basically like my car, Rapid Blue, so why not? I got a, I got a blue carbon knife coming. I got a cool t-shirt. We'll wear it in a future upload. It would be, yeah, it would be awesome. It would be fun content if I get that car. Yeah, this, you know, we, we can't walk by. A classic. The 60, yeah, this is 66. Look at this. I love the white interior. Mm. But to answer that question that I said earlier for future content, if I could buy any car, one of the cars on the list would have been, not is, so I'll give you a little spoiler, would have been a 65 convertible, blue, blue interior, white top. Yeah, that would have been one of them. But we'll, uh, We'll talk about that in future uploads. And so this is way off the path here behind the plant. But people are back here just showing off their cars, talking, sharing stories, ideas. Hey, what do you use to clean your car? What do you do here? Oh, look at this. This is great. My friend Dennis and his Grand Sport and his ZR1 style wheels on the Grand Sport, everything we've been talking about today. And he's got a model, of course, to match his car, absolutely. My buddy, this guy, what, what do you got again, Dennis? Four, 5,000 cars, 7,000? Uh, 5,500. 5,500, okay, yeah, yeah. Just starting a collection. Yeah. <laughs> I love that guy. I gotta get back down to that basement, man. We gotta do this again. Rick, I can't even walk in it no more. <laughs> you can't walk in it no more? <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't. <laughs> and I thought I was crazy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we got... Uh, yeah. A lot of C you're going to see a lot of C7s because there really wasn't any big production issues like we're going through right now in C8. So when you come to shows, there are a lot of C5s. There's a lot of C7s, and they're so different. I don't think you'll find one that is the same. It's crazy. Uh, here we got ceramic with the red. Love that. Man, it's a great-looking color. Got your Accelerate yellow over here. See a lot of 50th anniversary cars. I don't know if you guys ever saw this on the channel. We talked about it. I actually had one of these ordered. Of course, I work all the time. And my wife goes to the doctor, calls me up. She goes, yeah, just what we thought. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant with him, twins, him and his twin brother. And I said, well, I was getting ready to order a Corvette. She goes, yeah, we better order a Suburban. So we did. And <laughs> I didn't get my car. Until last year, as you guys know. Hey, man, good to see you, dude. Hey, hey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go back through. I was wondering, shh, I was, I told you they're here. These two people in front of you guys, they bought more cars for me than anybody else. A ton of Corvettes in one Camaro, I think it was 12 or 13 over the years that I've been doing this. Great people. We've lost them through an issue with C7 back in 14. That's a bummer. But they're here, even though they haven't had a car since 2014, they're here because Rita grew up with Corvettes with her family and she's had Corvettes all her life. So I was disappointed to hear that she got rid of it, but she's here. See, I knew that you would be here. <laughs> I saw you over there, but we, he wanted to call you. Oh, hey. 
<laughs> yeah, go ahead. I got you. You got me. Yeah, man. What do you? I saw you before. Oh wait, I'm shooting into the shadow. Yeah, here. dude. Oh my God, how you been, bro? I'm oh, doing great. Hey. Good to see you, man. Man, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm filming, we so I'll be back. We bought a bunch of cars from him. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'll be back in the front. I got to go back over and finish yeah, filming we'll the segment. I'll be done. There. Okay. Uh, he's yeah, I got or whatever. Yeah. Wow, awesome people. Awesome people. All right, so let's get out of this back side. We'll go back up through the front. And then on the other side of the plant, off to the left, there's a ton. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a ton more cars. for the fries. Of course it's longer. <laughs> There's your buddy Coglin Chevrolet sponsoring Corvette Cleveland. They do such a great job with this show, you guys. Lots of stuff available through the vendors. Lots of door prizes inside there. They've got, well, here, I'll show you inside here real quick. They got a lot. You can buy tickets for these basket raffles. There's a lot of stuff in this. There's a lot. Cool. I mean, oh my gosh, it goes all the way around. Oh, I'm gonna get run over here. No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. <laughs> so you buy the tickets and then you put in here to have an opportunity to win when they do the drawing of some of these things. We got a beautiful picture. Look at that, hey, I got some of this stuff to give away. I've already done some on the channel, but I got more of that to give away, the C8R. And all the proceeds go to charity, so what a great way, great that Local people in the community donate this stuff, have a great time and raise money for charities. A lot of Corvette racing t-shirts I see in here. Oh my gosh, a bunch of Ohio lottery stuff. Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. Some fun stuff in here, man. I know a girl. <laughs> Now, we came down this way. I didn't share anything over in this section, so let's go over. There's some beautiful classics in here. Of course, you, you just, gotta, just gotta drool over a ZR1. There's two of the yellow ones here today. Yeah, a lot of classics over here. This is great that these people bring these out to the shows. I enjoy seeing them. I enjoy sharing them with you guys. 65? I'd want a convertible though. Yeah, I love this. This is beautiful. Well, I watch your show all the time, right? Do you? Oh, thank you for watching, man. I appreciate that. I love when you guys do this. I mean, this is great. Heck yeah, man. This is for our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. Perfect, man. I got all kinds of content here. Yeah, we're trying to get every car that we can. You know, the worst thing you do is actually miss somebody. So it gives me an opportunity to walk right back through here. And then we're gonna go way over here. I've got a lot more cars I wanna share with you guys. Somebody, oh yeah, the other ZR1 left. It was over here. Yeah, this is not a long show. So why come and leave early? Come here and enjoy, hang out and enjoy the day. All right, so coming here now. We already walked past through here, so let's get up over there. Hey, Rick. What's happening, man? What's up, man? Welcome to Coffee with Conti, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I brought a limited supply of posters. People are waiting for me to come back over here and pass those out, but we've uh, got to share some content with you guys. This is our customer, Bill and Julie. We shared his delivery, a send-off pat on the vlog. Got these doors. 
Man, I'll tell you what, I love everything you do about your car. I got into a car with those Lambo doors. Yes. Not for me, man. Oh, really? No, not at all. I mean, you're two feet taller than I am. I don't know. I don't know how the heck you utilize those, but they still look cool. He's more flexible. Okay. <laughs> not much. Yeah, he does some great stuff with his cars. Oh my gosh, love the plate Zora DNA. So true. Like Linda and Don said from Texas, Zora was right. All right, so I don't want here. We got to do this differently. Here, let's edit real quick. We're going to start from the beginning and then we'll walk back through. It's not fair to the folks that parked up here and that I walked past them. Okay, so here in this section, to the right of the Corsa Performance Factory, we've got more great Corvettes for you guys to enjoy on today's show. Yeah. Look at all these over here. Thanks too for you folks that come up. You know, some of you have seen on the channel today, but a lot of people have come up at the table and just said, hey, I watch you, I love watching. Thanks for the content. Thanks for the many different ways that you share Corvette lifestyle. And I still, I still get it here. Hey, I got a quick question. One turns into 10. <laughs> it's okay, I get it. It's fun talking to you guys. Got some C4s here, yes. Got a C8R, that's nice. Really nice. Popularity of this car has just went bonkers. Has it not? Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at all, I mean, wow, look at all this going on here. A lot of white and red here. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Take some real good specs of that baby. It's going to take me a year. You know how much stuff you got on this car? Oh, I like this too. Italian Anna girl, yeah, that's right, yeah, baby. Let's go get some pasta right now. <laughs> this is awesome. That's cool. Wow. Wow. Really neat. Okay, so um, it's hard for me right now to share this with you guys because we had so many on this side and so many on this side. So let's concentrate on the left hand side. You're right as you're watching. Just kind of weave in and out of here and share some of these cars. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Rick. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Sky cool gray seats. Look at that, guys. And there's Warren and Elaine's Corvette. Yeah. If you know anything about Corvette Cleveland and this show, then you know how special Elaine was and still is to this event. Well, there's more back here. I can't lose these. Hey, yeah. what's happening? Hey, man? good. How you doing? Jim Graven. Yeah, I remember you, Jimmy. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Good well, seeing you. Yeah. You got the right spot, man, underneath oh, the yes. tree. Yep. I came back here, so. Yeah. Where's your, where's your name tag? It's on my, it's on my shirt. Got my, <laughs> yeah. Where's my name tag? My yeah. damn shirt says my name, so it's like, yeah, but it's in my back pocket. Okay. Hang on. All right, just so you know, I got a name tag, so everything's official. Boom. Okay. <laughs> there it is. It's right there. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to finish filming okay. these. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're funny. I love it. They're tucking in cars anywhere they can, man. A lot of representation of your clubs, whatever club you're in. This is Corvette Cleveland. And, of course, the traditional, historic Corvette Cleveland emblem right there. This is Dave and Shelley's car, man. This is beautiful. Yeah, look at that carbon fiber roof. Beautiful. We were here a few years ago, and she actually went and had the course exhaust. Doesn't look like they're doing installs here, but they did the install on the spot on this car. A little bit more involved with C8. You guys know that. So I think that's probably why they're not doing it right now. Black Rose Z06. Man, I had, uh, at the end of this era, 1718, had so many people wanted to buy that car. I looked all over, no avail. 
Yeah, it's tough. It's kind of like today. You got a lot of people want to buy something and you can't can't get it. Okay, so here's some more over here. Here's a uh, love the C5Z06. Look at this rapid blue. Okay. A lot of guys. Uh, we are by the airport, so you're going to hear some plane in the background. Love the tension blue interior. Seen a lot of folks doing this. Um, they're, they're gluing it onto the headrest. It's too bad that Chevy used to offer an embroidered Corvette emblem in the back of your back of your headrest. It's an option I think they need to bring back. There's a couple more that we missed over here. Here's some seat covers, and actually, I um I did get a seat cover. Just because I'm in my car so much, I got a seat cover. I haven't shared it with you guys on the channel. I haven't taken it out of the bag yet. But uh, okay. where that? You gotta go boat, boaty. Oh man, the sun's going away just a little bit. But I think back in this era when I was ordering cars for C5, I had to be the first. If not, I had the most pewter cars with the oak interior. How classy is this? Oh yeah, man, I love it. I love it. You're watching Coffee with Conti. We are not doing a live stream, but we are able to capture and share everything at the annual Corvettes at Corsa show here at Corsa Performance in Berea. So we were over here, so let's go back up in this way and let's find, there it is, the Rapid Blue C5. <laughs> yeah, I see the C8. I see the red mist. There's another red mist. There's <laughs> red mist everywhere. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. Wow, they're really stacked back here. Boy, those look. This looks really good now. I can't see if this is paint or I think it might be a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. I can see it right there, it's a wrap. Who cares? <laughs> it still looks good. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. Another ZR1. Okay. You guys enjoying this? This is not really a tough edit for me, so I enjoy just walking and talking and showing the car, so this is easy for me, so I hope that you're enjoying it. I always want to give you guys quality content, good information, but have fun. How could you not be having fun at a car show like this? Some great cars here, man. Wow. He said that he spent all that money on a car and he doesn't even drive it. That he spent all that money on a car and he doesn't even drive it. The last Sunday in July every year is this show and we did we miss these against the wall over here guys oh, wow so here's folks here with the uh convertible top up and uh, they yep yeah, and they've got the uh, clear engine cover that they're showing off i actually have one of these we're going to talk about uh the vendors that send them to us and uh what i'm going to do with it am i going to put it on my car or am i going to give it away we'll um we'll let you know you guys are starting to grow on me Originally, I wasn't, you know, I was like, okay, whatever. You want to see the engine, buy a coupe. Uh, you know, because when I go and I put my top down, I like the top all the way down. I want that car to have that Ferrari Lambo-esque that just, you know, yeah, top down. Yeah, those nacelles showing off. But watching all you guys, some of the stuff that you're doing with your engines in the hardtop convertibles for C8, yeah, I, I might drink the Kool-Aid too. <laughs> it's just, it's my, yeah. More ways to have fun with the car, right? Right. More ways to spend money. <laughs> That's the thing you get these cars. It's like, oh my gosh. You know, see, everybody does that. Maybe they missed the, t you know, I guess if you want to display your hardtop convertible like this and not put it in service mode, it's because you want to show off some of the interior and the fact that it is a hardtop convertible. But you can, you know, for you guys that have the clear engine covers, you can put just the tonneau up and keep all this stuff locked in if you're not really showing off anything here if you put the vehicle in service mode i'll put a link right up in here and one down below in case you missed that upload on our tech tuesday segments okay so this is i gotta say this why do you guys get your corvette and you take and you take the emblem off Ugh. why do you do that Sometimes they take the, okay, at least he's got the script on there. Sometimes guys take the script off, they take the stingray off on the top of the car. What do you do that? Show it off, man. Stingray R package over there. Man, I heard my name. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, how are you doing? How 
are you? Good to meet you, man. <laughs> good looking. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt your lunch. Oh, no, that's, that's all right. Car looks good, man. Uh, thanks. You watch the channel? Yeah. Well, you're on it. Okay. Coffee with Conti at Corvettes of Corsa. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. thank you. Appreciate the support, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a wrap, and then somebody's went and ripped it off. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Thank Very you. nice. I like that. Thank you so Wild much. and crazy. Wild and crazy. I like it. Yeah. Like, just like me. And you're dressed, you're dressed like your car. I That's know. perfect. Thank I you. love it. <laughs> I understand. Last call, fast, get wrapped, wrap up. Gonna be drawn about like 10 that. minutes. Last call. Chosen few, I thought you knew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Rick? Good, man. I know everybody. <laughs> Doing this. Oh, we got it. I don't know if I'm going to get over there in time. This guy's firing up his car. There's two exhausts over by my table. It sounds awesome. But yeah, I've been doing this 27 years. You would think you you start to know some people because I don't just sit in the office because this is more than just selling cars, as you guys know, as we continue to share on this channel. I'm so excited at some of the projects that I'm working on. I can't wait to get them on air with you guys. Thank you for watching. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if we get you an exhaust note. We used to do that all the time. Oh, he just turned it off. Remember, we used to do that all the time? Exhaust note, and then we'd play a, a cool exhaust note. The problem is, with some of these new exhausts for C8, they're so loud that the cameras compress it, and you can't you can't hear it the way that we're actually hearing it live in person. It's really something. I lost my son. I just uh, happened to notice I'm looking around. I was like, uh, where's my kid? Uh -oh. That's all right. He's 19. He'll be fine. <laughs> <sighs> Should buy one of those stupid lease things. Come here, Ryan. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> Sorry if you have had one of those, but I just thought those are kind of weird. <laughs> you know, leashes are for animals, not kids. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. All right, guy just come up and says, hey, Rick, I got to say one thing to you. So I got to capture it on camera. <laughs> just in case I get yelled at, because that's still good material. No, no, <laughs> What's no. going on, man? No, I just, I follow you every day. Thank you. Would love to own a Corvette, but don't. But you're here. This is awesome, man. I'm in Corvette heaven. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. This, this place awesome. is this place is great. Oh, yeah. I, there isn't one that I haven't seen that I don't like. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. Um, but I would just want to say thank you. Thanks for the support. I know, I know you put up with a lot. Oh, yeah. I know the times that we're in, in Corvette World is trying. Yes. You do great. Thanks, man. You do a lot. Very kind of you. Thanks. Awesome. Appreciate that. I just wanted to thank you. No, it oh. means a lot. It really does. It means a lot. See? He gets it. He don't even have a Corvette, and he gets it. Get him a microphone and talk to everybody else. Very kind. Get a lot of people come up and give us nice compliments like that. It fires me up to want to do more, to do a better job for you guys and share the stuff that you need to know and that you want to know that we all enjoy with this car. And I don't know if I actually spent any time on this. This is my customer, Bob, that um, kind of surprised the cars here. Poor guy buys these cars, has a facility that he can put them away and then never drives them money on a car and he doesn't even drive it. Bob, I'm hoping you didn't trailer this here, that you actually drove it, but oh my gosh. Whoa, I ain't seen this yet. Look at this, guys. Wow, man. All this freaking carbon fiber back here. Oh my gosh, he's one leg up on Z06 right there with level two. Very nicely done, man. This is why I wish I had a zoom on a GoPro. He's even got the carbon fiber over there on the speaker covers up around the door switches and the handle, and of course, across that uh, little piece right there, and up on the blades. Again, one leg up on Z06. What a great show, great time, great people, awesome cars. Thank you for watching and joining us on today's Coffee with Conti.